New at 630, Arizona's death penalty debate takes a new turn. As we've reported, Governor Hobbs halted executions to launch a statewide review, but Arizona's Supreme Court just signed off on a new execution yeah. warrant. Okay, so what happens now? Here's ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips. Aaron Gunch just got his wish, sort of. The death row inmate sent a letter to the state Supreme Court asking not to be executed. The request failed. But Governor Hobbs stepped in Friday and declared Arizona won't be carrying out the execution. It's really not unusual. Um, last year, governors in Alabama and Tennessee hit pause because they had concerns about how their execution protocols were, were being carried out. Dale Beige argued death penalty cases as a federal court public defender. Beige says the state Supreme Court looked at the law but didn't consider the circumstances. The court ignored that and basically put form over substance. In the Gunches case, it included a filing from newly elected Attorney General Chris Mays, saying the state wasn't prepared to carry out an execution. After Governor Hobbs' executive order in January put a stop to all executions until there's a review on how they're conducted in Arizona. If the state of Arizona is executing people in the name of Arizonans, um, Arizonans deserve transparency around that process. Last year, the state executed three death row inmates, Clarence Dixon in May, Frank Atwood in June, and Mary Hooper in November. It took the Department of Corrections more than two hours to execute Dixon. Problems with lethal injection drugs, execution protocols, and staffing have all been issues in administering the death penalty in Arizona. I think it's time for um, our leaders in the legislature to uh, take a, a uh, good uh, and fair look at the death penalty uh, and determine whether uh, it's, it's sound public policy. Aaron Gunches remains on death row. In the meantime, the governor appointed retired U.S. Magistrate Judge David Duncan to investigate the state's procurement of lethal injection drugs and other death penalty protocols because of Arizona's history of mismanaging executions. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.